All right, this uh, party uh, washed these cylinders out with uh, parts washer and lacquer fender. Now it's time to scrub them out with uh, hot soapy water. And we're just going to scrub them a little bit. Actually, I probably already scrubbed this one slightly, so I'll scrub it a little bit more and then we'll do the other one. It's fairly simple. You're basically just like washing dishes and I'm washing it in the kitchen sink here, which I don't have a sink outside. So just hot soapy water and Dawn dishwashing detergent or the like. So we're just going to scrub dub dub. And you want to oil these as soon as you take them out. We'll give them a good rinse and then oil them down. And then we'll scrub them out again with oil to make sure that we don't have any swarf remaining in the cylinder there. So that's it. Now I've, I've marked these on the gasket surface here with a F and an R for the front and the rear. So I can tell so I can tell which one's which. And they'll still start rusting almost immediately because there's no oil left in there. So water and cast iron, that's what they do. So I'm gonna go ahead and oil this one down. And uh, actually, I'll probably wipe it, wipe the water out first, and oil it down. So I don't know what kind of cloths these are. My wife works at a textile mill, and she brings bright bags of this stuff home. These are like samples. She works in the lab where they do quality control, and. This stuff's good for this stuff like this. I got the blue rags like the, you buy at the auto parts store. These white ones and them orange ones are, I don't know what the orange ones are for, some different kind of material. So even still, you can see there's a little bit of stuff coming out of there, if you can see that. Very little bit still, so once we oil them down and scrub the oil out of there, we'll be able to tell. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that or not. It's got a little bit of gray on there. There's still swarf in there. Set that one aside. I think my stopper's leaking here. Put some more water in and get the other one started. All right, so I'm just using a 10 weight non-detergent oil. That's what I use for break-in on the cylinders here. I'm just gonna put a couple of squirts in there. Kind of smear it around with my hand. Make sure it's colored all the way around. Same on this side. And let's take a clean one, a couple of clean ones. See that's nice and clean there. Nothing on it. Let's get a little scrub and see what we got. See it's still kind of dirty there. Not kind of it is. Still getting a lot of material out of there. If you see any you now the orange, that's not rust, that's the dye in the oil. But there's some gray mixed down along the edges here. That gray is the swore from the cast iron, uh, honing, honing dust, or 
it's just particulate matter really. Flip that over, give it a couple more squirts of oil, and same thing, just going to rub it around there until we got a good coverage. Then we're going to keep scrubbing until we get nothing out of there. down, down. Yeah, that's looking better. Put that aside and grab some fresh ones and we'll do, keep going it until we get nothing out of there. So hopefully tomorrow I can at least get the cylinders on there so I can get started on the cylinder heads. Get the cylinders on and the lifters in there. The lifters are soaking in oil tonight, so they'll be ready tomorrow. It probably, it's probably going to take me at least a week to do the cylinder heads. There's no big rush on it really. nothing on there. So that's it for that one. That one's clean. I'll bag it up and that'll actually be all the oil I'll put on them cylinders. You don't want to put too much oil in there. Uh, it brings won't seat very well and it'll, and it, it'll take a really long time for them to seat. I've seen too many guys giving them cylinders and giving them instructions. They got enough oil in them, don't put any more oil in them. And, you know, for whatever reason, they like to dump three, four, five, six ounces of oil down the cylinders for whatever reason. I don't know, probably because their grandpa or something did it that way. And it smokes like the Dickens, and then they're complaining that it's smoking that you screwed something up so it's smoking because you didn't fit the pistons or the rings right or something. Uh, it's all because they don't, you know, hell, if you can see oil coming out the damn exhaust pipes, you know they put too much oil in them. Anyway, regardless of that bitching, uh, the only additional oil I'll put is I'll put a little squirt of oil on the piston skirts and just rub it on with my fingers and pretty much wipe all of it off. And doing it this way without oiling the hell out of the cylinders, the rings will seat very quickly. Very quickly. So it's not an extended process. Let me go finish cleaning this other cylinder here. Anyway, that's that's it for the cylinders. You know, you don't you don't need to dump a lot of oil in them. You know, if you want to be really safe, you can molly coat the piston skirts. You can you can do that fairly cheaply. I think that stuff's like thirty-five bucks to do, and all you need is a detail gun, really. And you don't even have to cure them; they have an air cure now, so you just spray them and let it cure for forty-eight hours or thirty-six hours or a week or whatever it is, and you're done. And I'm not doing it on these because I'm a cheap bastard, really, and uh, I'm not sure that how long we're going to run this thing if it's if I was building it with new shit I'd ceramic coat the tops of the pistons and molly coat the skirts of course I'd do the cylinder heads too molly coat or uh, ceramic coat the cylinder heads and the heads of the valves and be done with it but 
anyway, regardless of that, that, that's all the oil you need in there. Let me go clean this other cylinder. Anyway, if you like my content, please like, share, subscribe, comment, all that stuff. Uh, this ain't rocket science. It's just, uh, you know, clean clean the cylinders. You can see they have dirt in them, even though I've washed them in a parts washer and washed them in uh, with lacquer thinner. How much? And then washed them in hot soapy water. You still see the swarf coming out of them. The absolute best way to do this is in a hot water jet wash to clean them. That, that works best of all, but I don't have a jet wash cabinet anymore. That went away with a lot of my other stuff. So it'd be nice to have one again, but I don't do that kind of work too much anymore just for my own stuff. Anyway, thanks for watching. You guys have a great week.